Oh, McVay with the floater that can't go. Gets his own rebound, and the putback falls for McVay. Sacramento State stops the clock. Inexperienced Cornhusker squad to handle some token pressure. Here's Jack McVay. And Jack McVay from... That was their first postseason victory in 53 years at Sacramento State. McVay with Jacobson with a block. He had 28 of them as a freshman last year. And here's McVay for three. Good start to the second half. Watson had a wide open Jack McVay. And McVay knocks. Last free throw by McVay. McVay, 69% from the free throw line. Long showing from the Husker starters tonight. One more chance for Jack McVay from the corner. Keeps his composure, though. Jack, final 40 seconds of the half. McVay spotting up. He's got it. It's Webster along the baseline. Back around the perimeter, McVay, no. Clippers this year. How well they're sharing the basketball, being unselfish, that will help this Nebraska team continue to improve. This will be his first free throw attempts on the game. Watson trying to work around Travis Jackson. Good job. Woo. Bay sends it back out to this year, kind of cleaning up the messy footwork on the perimeter. And a great example of it rucked off a number of times. I'll tell Marcus about that later. <laughs> right now with those third three fouls. Watson with the kick out. McVeigh thought about three. So did Webster. Three seniors we talked about for the Hornets. Two, 14. Hornhuskers in the white. Dayton India. The Bears certainly exploited that. Spot up for the Wets, 23 points per game, just seven so far tonight. Ooh. I think he probably fasted for three days beforehand just to make sure. But what a great experience. Deficiencies all season long, so you're going to have to learn how to adjust and play with it. And Cunningham's not coming back in a hurry. Wilbur Woods somewhere was smiling with that knuckleball. <laughs> There's Isaiah Rope. Huskers have their experience on theirs as they have in the lineup contrasted to the inexperience put on the floor right now by Nebraska. Seven fouls for the Hornets versus only one here for the Hornhuskers in the second stands at range. That's what Miles said they don't really have a go-to three-point shooter. Well, Jack McVay might be that guy. Double bonus. So any common foul will send you to the line for two shots. So attack off the dribble or try to go in. Part of the culture in which he has built at Nebraska. Got a beautiful facility. They call it the vault. Look, they, they missed the stats. There's no doubt about it. But I think it's almost addition by subtraction. And the way they're playing right now. McVay gets the ball after setting the screen. Kick to the corner. Gill. Here comes the screen, look for Webster to attack. He slips at that time. Nice job by McVay. Clean up the mess. There's Anton Gill. Shamanga fights for the rebound. He can't get the finish, though. McVay with a third try. And that one. Jacobson. Nice help by Shamanga there defensively. Strings, who's the Hornets' best bleed. The league after two games, if he, even, if he doesn't get one. There's a, his first basket tonight. Pullback jump. Looking at the totality of it, and that was my selection before the first game was played. I'm going to stick with that, even though it go down. And Watson tries to save it. He almost did. It ends up going to Hornsby. It's actually Strings. And Mongo we saw early. Played as much in the second half, screams the three. Things throughout the course of the year that just popped up that brought that memory back, and it was a hard season for everybody involved. Where he's had over 20 points, he could be on pace to do that again tonight. Gucci Smith. Cook. Reed. Out of the out of the post. Cook around McVay and Rhode Island ahead of Dayton. 
just saw I just saw Rhode Island for two days in the Mohegan Sun. The side of the backboard gets his own miss. Close to the rim, Wayne, is get your hit by the defender, and Morrow showed you why there. Sacramento State on with McVeigh and Watson. Strings takes the three from the top. Justin String. Madison then transferring to Dayton he would be more inclined to settle for the jump shot but as you say largest lead of the ball game 16-5 Nebraska Crosby brings it to Davis before that make well, they need for him to help fill the void left by Andrew White who's a graduate transfer off to Syracuse against Colorado, though they didn't turn the ball over much, only nine turnovers. They lost by 37. And there's 34 percent of the time a year ago as a true freshman. He's also put on a little bit of time against Sacramento State. The Hornets usually keep their games close. 19 of 31 last year decided by eight points or fewer. Ellinger Leon. That's Justin Strings trying to tie the game, but he missed fighting for the rebound. Brings to Studeville, this time Studeville. Justin Strings an open three, that means... Studeville strong inside, and Studeville... Nice talk defensively now for Nebraska. Strings. From the top, because of the angle in which he was positioned on the baseline. Looked like Nick Hornsby who drew the charge. He had 15 of them last year to lead. <laughs> Jeff Wu, way off on the three. McVeigh misfires on his first attempt. Long rebound comes to the Flyers. Chance to tie or take the lead. Cook forces it. Defensive player out of the cylinder, the defensive player, all these things that we've, we've been talking about in the early stages of this season. <laughs> They start throwing this much stuff at a lot of people. I think they get a little bit. They got away from that. They were shooting jump shots, settling. That's what Dayton's defense wants you to do. Long finish by Webster. Crosby end to end. With his stronger right hand, that's just inexperienced. He had the defender. And a rebound for Nick Hornsby. Stop and pop. And the miss spot. Watson with the pressure defense on Graves. He got away thanks to his screen. Now strings for three. That's shy from the field. Coach Miles still called him out. Said he just played okay. Marcus Graves stops and shoots. He misses. McVay fights for the rebound. Tonight for Nebraska, except that the inexperience they have will just have to continue to get more experience. The one that I think inspired the Kardashian family. <laughs> Cook absorbs the contact. Can't... Boy, the Bruins, their offense has been clicking on all cylinders. Averaging. Hey, Charles Cook is, quote, very hungry, not afraid to take the big shots. 